six of the 2013 NBA Finals. This is Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. The San Antonio Spurs and Miami Heat will meet up on Tuesday night at the AAA in South Beach. This one tipping off at 9 o'clock Eastern Time on ABC. The Heat currently seven-point home favorites while the total stands at 191 at SBRodds.com. The Spurs took a 3-2 series lead by picking up a 114-104 victory over the Heat as one-point home underdogs in Game 5 Sunday night, going over the total for a third consecutive game in this series. But the first two games, which took place at the AAA, went under the total. So if you're looking to bet the under, definitely a possibility given the fact that the first two games went under the total. Spurs head coach Greg Popovich continues to make the necessary adjustments to try to beat a more talented Miami Heat in the eyes of many uh, around the sports media world. Starting Manu Ginobili was the difference in Game 5, the perceived difference, but it's important to note that point guard Tony Parker continues to impress even though he's dealing with a hamstring injury. He scored a game-high 26 points, and I think he's the big difference between these two teams in trying to close out the series in six games. 10 of 14 from the field, and he played just under 36 minutes, so he should be fresh in Game 6. The Spurs are 0-6 straight up, 1-5 against the spread as road underdogs of 6.5 to 9 points the last two plus seasons. But it's important to note when handicapping that specific betting trend, Popovich has elected to rest Duncan, Ginobili, and Parker in that particular situation during that span. So I'm kind of pushing aside that sports betting trend. When you look at the Heat, they allowed the Spurs to shoot 60% from the field last time out. And I was surprised that they lost given the fact that they, their bench outscored the Spurs reserves 31-7 to in Game 5. The Heat 31-1 and regular season record when their bench outscores their opponents. So definite key statistic in Game 6. But you figure the starters are going to be the difference in the two games if it does push to a Game 7. The Heat very inconsistent in the NBA playoffs since sweeping the Milwaukee Bucks. They've alternated wins and losses in their last 12 games, but they are 6-0 straight up following a loss during the 2013 NBA playoffs, winning those games by an average of 20.7 points. And from a sports betting trend perspective, when looking at Miami, 17-3, straight up 13-7 against the spread as home favorites of 6.5 to 9 points since the start of the regular season. When handicapping this game, you got to go back to the 2011 NBA Finals, in my opinion, to see where the value lies. And I think it's squarely on the road underdog, given the fact that Miami was a five-point favorite in Game 6 against Dallas in the 2011 NBA Finals. And I don't think San Antonio is two points worse than Dallas, especially when the Mavericks were trying to win their first ever NBA championship with Dirk Nowitzki. Also, San Antonio has closed out all three previous series on the road during the 2013 NBA playoffs, and they've been incredible in this type of situation since Duncan arrived in San Antonio. And I think the sports betting world is thinking money line with the Heat, thinking just a straight up victory, and I think that gives more value with the Spurs uh, against the spread. So I'm going to go San Antonio plus seven against Miami, but I think this is going to climb even higher with the amount of money here in Las Vegas that's going to flow in from the betting public of just simply betting Miami on the money line. So I would wait to potentially grab a plus seven and a half, but that's my official pick. This has been another edition of Across the Board here at SBRForum.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at Jeff Grant Sports.